Racing is about speed, but there can't be racing without safety. Every day, WEC and ACO professionals work tirelessly to ensure racing is safe. Discover how you can draw from their practice and advice to be safer on the road every day. Hello, I am Pedro, safety car driver. Normally to be aware of the track conditions, I have to rely on my experience because sometimes, especially here in Spa, the conditions change a lot, but also I have to, to rely on the race control. They tell me uh, a lot what's happening through the track and then for sure I'm adapting through the, through the lap. Normally on the road, it's completely different because we have a car that is prepared for a lot of conditions. So we have to rely on our experience and uh, for sure when it's not so good conditions, Go slower. I change a lot my driving when it rains. We are so lucky that we have a car with four-wheel drive that are much better on these conditions when it's raining. But when it's raining, you have to adapt, especially for a lot of places in the, in the circuit, there are more rubber on dry conditions, so you have to do different lines. On the road, when it's raining, I, I don't think it's a, it's a question of adapting because we, we should really be on the, on the safe side. So when it's raining, we should go really slow. Normally, uh, the night affects for sure because of the visibility, it's normal. But you have a lot of circuits with the artificial lighting like Bahrain, like Qatar. But circuits like Le Mans and the Sebring, uh, it's difficult because some part of it are really dark. So you have to adapt not just your eyes, your way of driving because for sure your lines sometimes can be a little bit different, but uh, normally also it comes with your experience. When the visibility is poor, we, we have to do a lot of other things, like we have to adapt, especially when it's fog, we have different lines because fog normally comes uh, humidity and uh, the circuit changes a lot. So. We have to, to avoid a lot of, uh, of things that are happening suddenly for, uh, for a race driver. Everything, the visibility, when, when it comes to low visibility, uh, I always say on, on the road we have to go on the safe side, so always go slower. Track temperatures make a huge difference on a race car because it affects the tire pressure, it affects the asphalt, it comes with more pressure, you completely have a different setup in the car, the car changes completely, so you have to, to adapt during the weekend to know what's happening. Temperature and wind, especially on road, can affect you a lot. But uh, as I always say, and I'm not uh, unhappy to say this a lot of times, on road you go slower, especially if the conditions are not perfect. On the safety car, you don't have many things to change. We are happy to have uh, some electronic change inside the car. We work a lot of, uh, with the pressures, for the tire pressures. But you have to do a, a preparation before the weekend to know what kind of weather you are going to have during the race and during the, the testing. When you go on the road with, a, with the conditions changing, with a, especially you have to, to, to think that you have a lot of other drivers. You, know, you don't have just 30 drivers on track, you have a lot of other drivers, some, some of them not paying attention to what they are doing with no experience. So you always have to rely on yourself, on the car, and for sure have some, some rely also on the other drivers. You detect your changing conditions on track exactly with this, with the, with the steering wheel, because this is like, a, it's continuing from, from the tires, you feel everything, and with your experience, after all these years, you can feel the, a lot of small things and, and definitely it comes to your experience to, to adapt and to think what's happening on track. <laughs>